Hey everybody, I'm SK and welcome to this, our 16th episode of the Haunting Grounds vlog. I'm here with Cody. Uh, I've been starving him to death so that we can use him for a Halloween project. Or a Halloween prop, hot balloon. Yeah. No. No, he's over here. I'm still alive. He's hanging out in the background. Uh, 49 days. 49 days left until Halloween. Get your rears in gear. Get some stuff done. I'm going to talk. Pot call the kettle black over here. 49 days left till the big day. Um, this past week, not a whole lot of prop work done. Um, Groundbreaker's still sitting there unfinished. Did, however, take a ride around to a few places and uh, did a bit of a galley venting, if you will, and uh, stopped off at Michael's and. Uh, the um, Spirit. Spirit Halloween and the Yankee Candle Company picked up a few new things. So I figured I would share those with you. So first we went, this was like two weeks ago almost now, uh, picked up a new candy dish. How can you not love that? That is awesome. From uh, Yankee Candle Company. We also picked up a couple of little skeletons, little dangly skeletons that hang on jar candles. And we picked up a few patchouli jar candles. Um, the Yankee Candle Company sells a, uh, a holiday scented um, jar candle called Witch's Brew which is very popular, and I love the smell. If you love the smell too, that's what it is. This is what they sell year round. It's the same scent, patchouli. Unfortunately, I can't smell anything right now because uh, my allergies are wreaking havoc and my nose is plugged. I can smell nothing. Ah, oh, we then, uh, a couple days ago, we went over to Michael's. I had to pick up a few things. A couple of packages of black feathers. I need these because I'm going to make a few new uh, Blair Crows this year. Um, and I wanted to add feathers to them. I thought that would be a cool touch. Uh, if those of you who are, are not familiar with the Blair Crows, uh, a couple of years ago, I was uh, desperately looking for something last minute that I could, uh, that I could bang out you know, real quick, real easy, that I could uh, add the, that ambiance to uh, the haunt uh, without a whole lot of effort. And I had the, the whole image of those um, those little Blair Witch figures, the little stick figures that are hanging in the trees in that Blair Witch movie. Uh, so I started thinking, you know what, why don't, what if I made like a scarecrow looking thing like that? So that's what I did. Um, I uh, tied some sticks together and made like, I don't know, scarecrow shaped stick figures. Stuck them in the ground, stuck a skull on top of them and uh, called them Blair Crows. And it was, the idea was actually really well received. I posted uh, a few pictures on, um, on uh, Hot Forum and Halloween Forum and the idea was really, really well received um, and has been copied now multiple times over. Uh, people love them. Great idea. You're looking for something to throw together. Do a, do a Google image search for Blair Crows and uh, copy that. All you need is some sticks and some jute twine and a skull. You know, I use the uh, Lindbergh skulls, but you can use the uh, foam skulls just as well, too. Ah, oh, all right, and then we uh, took a ride over to Spirit yesterday and spent more money. Got a couple of things. Got myself a little rat. A little squeaky rat. Yeah. Did you ever hear a rat make that noise? Me neither. Um, never seen a black rat either, so this guy's going to get a little bit of a paint job. Um, hopefully we'll make him look a little bit better than he does now. Oh, uh, 
How can you resist this? Car magnet. Support Halloween. They've got ribbons for everything. Also picked up an air freshener. Vanilla scented. I wouldn't know. I can't smell anything. Uh, what else did I get from Spirit? Ah, uh, yes. One of the things that we're planning on doing this year. Uh, came up late. I was talking to Cody a couple weeks ago weeks ago about it. No, we decided that we're going to try and make a like 10 foot tall skeleton that walks around up in the uh, upper end of the haunt and you know kind of adds to the apprehension of those little kids walking up the driveway going oh my god what the hell is that? And uh, so I was going to make a paper mache skull as part of this whole thing. Then I walked into spirit and saw this. Styrofoam skull. How that is awesome. That is perfect. So I'm going to make a harness out of PVC that uh, kind of sits over your shoulders, goes down your back, goes down your front. You can have a little belt down at the waist to hold it in place, and then it has two sh pieces of PVC that shoot up. And we'll put this up there, and uh, we'll uh, eyes laid up too. And we'll uh, and drape it with some, uh, hopefully, some lightweight black fabric. We'll see how it turns out. I hope to work. Uh, hope to start working on that pretty soon. And after I don't know how many years of lining up 18-inch black lights in our porch to light up the whole porch. I went out and bought a 48 inch black light. And that was it for our trip to uh, trip to Spirit this week, anyways. Uh, Spirit's like 20 minutes away, so I don't get a chance to just run out there any limb. But, got the dead meat. Oh, we also picked up a uh, the infamous. Um, what is it? Walgreens skeleton? They sell them at Walmart now too. And since Walmart is only like two minutes away from my house, and I happen to be walking through there picking up some miscellaneous crap for other projects, I happened to spot that. It was the last one. So I snatched it up. 40 bucks. Not a bad looking skeleton. Five foot. It's, to be honest with you, it's the same size as Cody. Cody, stand next to that thing. Look at that. Spit an image. Alright. So that was it for our galley vanting. A skeleton and a bunch of other miscellaneous crap and a four foot light. Uh, not a bad weekend. Now I was talking about the Blair Crows and that was another thing that was uh, on our agenda for the week. I want to try and add a few more Blair Crows to uh, our haunt this year. We have three of them, four of them. But I uh, wanted to add a couple more and wanted to try something new. So I was sitting there thinking, well, since I have those deer skulls, I don't know if I, any of you remember on a previous vlog, I had uh, shown some deer skulls that my father had picked up uh, up at the hunting camp. And I came up with this. This is the, this is a pet. This is the pet of the Blair Crows. Everybody needs a pet, right? This is a Blair Doe. Only it's a buck. All right, anyways, yeah, Cody and I were out looking for sticks and came across a bunch of uh, hawk feathers. So I thought that was kind of cool. So we added the hawk feathers and uh, I had some uh, bone skull beads kicking around. So we tied some of those on there and uh, yeah, that thing's pretty creepy. So it works. New Blair Crow with a deer skull. And he's tidy. He only stands about four foot tall and I'll probably sink him down into the into the ground about a, a foot, so I don't know. Had to come up with something new, right? Ah, uh, let's see here. What else is on the agenda here, Cody? I know what's on the agenda. Um. 
we have a whole list of questions. I like to answer questions in the vlogs thereafter that uh, people write in. So I have actually several people who wrote in with questions that I wanted to answer real quick. So I'm going to try and make this quick. Uh, CC Bell 42 uh, in in reference to the hunting grounds vlog number 15. What I need to see and can't find anywhere is a how-to on the armature of a groundbreaker. If you could post one or let me know of any, that would be awesome. Thanks. Um, I'm not positive, but you may be able to find some information on the armat on an armature at uh, Season of Shadows. Seasonofshadows.com. That was uh, my a friend of mine, John Wolf, who passed away earlier this year. Um, that was his site. It's still up. His family is keeping it up for as long as they possibly can. And uh, go check that out. He had a lot of great videos. Um, you can check on his YouTube channel as well. Uh, you might find the videos in there. But uh, yeah, he did uh, a couple of videos on, on his groundbreakers. So you might find some information there. If I can explain it real quick, um, what I do is I use a piece of plywood base, probably about, you know, 12 inch square, 15 inch square, something like that. A piece of two by four for the backbone and a piece of uh, square hardwood for the shoulders. And I just uh, drill a couple holes in here and run some um, wire coat hangers through for the arms. That's what gives the arms a support so I can actually have these arms like uh, like on this one, just they're kind of stiff. They're not, they're not going anywhere. Um, and then the rest, of the, the rest of the skeleton, if you will, of the groundbreaker is made out of just rolled up newspapers, screwed to the back and wrapped around, wrapped around to the front and ribs and uh, such. Uh, let's see, I hope that answers your question. I do plan on getting, uh, getting that vlog or that um, how to video how to done on the groundbreakers very, very soon. I keep saying that. I know I keep saying that. Uh, I was actually talking to Cody earlier this week about taking a couple of days and just banging out a new groundbreaker and videotaping the whole process. So, hopefully, before Halloween, I can get that out. Jay Olson, 100, has made a comment in reference to the Hunting Grounds vlog number 15. What glue did you glue the beard on with? I have a gatekeeper I want to add a beard to and some witches I want to add some hair to as well. The glue just needs to hold up in the weather. My props are in the yard for the full month of October. Kudos to you for putting your haunt up for so long. I wish I could do that. Uh, that's awesome. Anybody who puts their haunt up for the whole month of October, that's awesome. Um, the glue I use for the beard, and uh, for those who don't know, he's referencing the, um, the uh, imp that I just completed. Uh, and what I used was liquid fusion. I picked this up at Michael's. It's a clear urethane glue. It's non-foaming. It's non-toxic. It's 100% waterproof, and it's fast drying. Um, this stuff works well. It cleans up with water while it's still wet, and then once it's dry, it's, it's good. It's waterproof. Um, if you go to Michael's and you're looking for it, it's on a card. It's not in those little racks with the rest of the bottles. It's actually on a card hanging on the wall. So look for that bright yellow card, Liquid Fusion. Works great. And this is the same stuff that I use to put the moss on the tombstones when I use that, uh, that uh, model, model railroad grass for the moss. Uh, let's see. Brad Goodspeed. The stringy textures come from Paper towels, is there anything else at play? And he's referencing the groundbreakers in the 2009 yard haul uh, video. Um, paper towels, that's it. Just long, thin strips of paper towels dipped in a 50 50 mixture of Elmer's glue and water. And then I just kind of dip it in there and give it a little spin to twirl it, to twist it around so it's, uh, so it's round and then stick both ends on and uh, wait for it to dry. It gives a nice, uh, solid, stringy texture. And, that's where that comes from. Just paper towels. Uh, SCJKE 1635 made a comment uh, creating a lighted sign for your haunt. Uh, this is a great how-to video. I'm going to use this to make my sign. 
could you go over how to wire the LED lights in a series? I'm not sure how to do that. Thanks. You know, I know how to do it. Um, there's a bit involved. Uh, you got you actually have to look up a calculator and get the right size um, get the right size resistors for whatever size uh, power pack that you're using. Um, really, your best bet. I, you know, I'll just confuse you if I try, if I try and explain it because I'm not any kind of skilled whatsoever in wiring. I just wing it. So my my advice to you is Google wiring uh, LED lights. You should come up with a calculator that uh, helps you figure out you know, what your wattage is coming in and what kind of resistors you need and uh, how many LEDs you're going to use. And you're better off doing that. I'll just confuse you. Uh, Adam, uh, Michelle Adamchak, in reference to the Hunting Grounds Cauldron Creep 2011. That is brilliant, sir. Thank you, but it's not my idea. Um, I can't take credit for the Cauldron Creep. I can take credit for mine, but uh, the idea came from, from uh, another guy, Craig. Uh, kudos on this build. If I may ask, how much did it cost to make this wonderfully creepy cauldron creep? If I had to guess, I would say all the parts involved cost maybe around $100. Uh, I can't give a, a definitive answer only because most of the stuff I had kicking around already. Uh, the foam bones, uh, I think I, I think I spent maybe forty bucks on the bones altogether. But now that you can get these things. I would actually recommend using one of these for the skeleton. Uh, maybe not for the skull, but uh, for the skeleton, anyways. Um, the only thing I had to buy were the two motors, the uh, the wiper motor, which was uh, I believe it was fifteen. And the little vent motor that does the head, these were like nine bucks a piece. So 24 bucks plus shipping. That's all I spent. Uh, let's see here. Oh, did you make the mask at the end of the video too? In reference to Hunting Grounds vlog number 15 last week or two weeks ago. Oh, uh, no, I did not make the mask. This is a Walmart special. Something that came in uh, one of the kids' Halloween costumes that uh, I had left over from a couple of years ago. So, still kind of cool. Yeah, dirt cheap. Walmart. Who carves? Oh, this is Michelle Adamchak again. Uh, who carves the fantastic pumpkins? And will you please do a tutorial on them? Your yard hunt is one of the best I've ever seen. I doubt that, but thank you. Uh, so much love and hard work put into it, and it shows. Can you say where you live? Would love to see this in person. We live in upstate New York. Uh, I can message you with more. Um, I carved the pumpkins with the help of Cody and Savannah and sometimes Bryce. Uh, yes, I can do a tutorial on carving pumpkins. And I actually planned on doing a video of carving pumpkins when we get some pumpkins this year. Only because I think last year we carved something like 50 pumpkins. And I do those almost, uh, almost all of those in like one day. Uh, I've gotten, I don't know, I've gotten my little method of cleaning out the pumpkins where I can get a pumpkin cleaned in like two minutes. And it uh, works real well. So I will share that with you as soon as we get some pumpkins to carve which probably won't be until after, let's say the 22nd of, 22nd of October. That's my guess on when we have some pumpkins. And Gordon Benson, enjoyed a lot about your hunt. Couple of questions. What did you use for the blue lighting? For the blue lighting, I used a couple of um, ground staked uh, lights with um, the big blue spotlights and in a couple of spots I have some smaller LED spotlights that I made that um, I actually show in one of my earlier vlogs and uh, talk a little bit about I am in the process of completing a, uh, a um, how to on those something I started a while ago and just forgot to finish uh, hopefully that'll be done soon 
Do you have a tutorial on the cauldron stirring and the skeleton that raises its head? Um, not really a tutorial, but uh, kind of like a prop breakdown where I showed the whole entire uh, the whole entire thing and uh, all the different components involved in it. Uh, you can go to our channel and check that out. All right, that is all of the questions. One important order of business. I said that we, when we hit 250 subscribers, we would uh, we'd do a giveaway. And last night, nope, this morning, we hit 250 subscribers. So, this week, I'm going to start the giveaway. One of these two CDs, your choice, either the Buzzworks House of Nightmares or Nox Arcana's Grim Tales. I still have to order the CDs, but I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done with this vlog. So they will be here, they should be here uh, before the deadline for, for the giveaway. Uh, that's it. Your choice of one of these, and all I ask of you is A. You have to be subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you can't win a CD. Uh, you have to leave a comment. I don't care what the comment is. You can you can make fun of my beard that doesn't grow in very well on the sides and is all gray in the center and shows my age. Or you can talk about the crap I bought. Or you can just say, hey, go to hell. I don't care. Leave a comment and hit the like button. Uh, I think it's down there. I think up there, down there, somewhere. I don't know because I'm looking at my camera right now and not uh, my YouTube channel. So like the video, leave a comment, be subscribed. That's all you have to do. You can win one of those two CDs. The other CD will be part of a bigger giveaway coming soon. Some major event will cause me to give away several things, some of which I'm going to pick up out, uh, out in Salem. When we go to Salem, Massachusetts this uh, uh, very soon, I am going to be picking up some things to give away. So hopefully I have a lot of cool giveaways coming up. And some of those I'm going to throw in with the other CD that uh, doesn't get doesn't get one here. So, if you uh, are interested in hearing any of the music on these albums, go to their website, noxarcana.com, and go to their discography page, check out these two CDs, and there's some sample music that you can actually listen to, like three or four of the songs off each one. So check that out. That way you can decide which one you want to win. Ah, oh, and one last order of business before we wrap this up, and that is new subscribers. Those new subscribers who got me to that 250 mark. And here goes. Louis Beals, Sailor3598, Sharik97, Jay Olson100, EC Beaches701, Spooky01. Hey Spooky, I remember you from the uh, Halloween Forum. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, Jasper Cats, Skulls and Bones 31, Brad Goodspeed, Astroaid, Legacy of Horror, Butcher House of Horror, Jason Nichols, Jason Nichols from Nichols Manor. Again, from Haunt Forum. Thanks, Jason, for uh, subscribing. And if you haven't checked out their haunt, they've got an awesome haunt. Definitely an awesome haunt. You should be definitely checking out their page. Um, Scrap and Cheryl, Raina Pete, Nubs2323, Mary Barfield, DBK168, Lisa168, oh no, I'm sorry, Lisa27, <laughs> uh, Queen Rubiatsk, uh, The Scary Dad, Hey, me too. Uh, Tess Morrow. Halloween Hazard. Alan W. Mintz. 
Michelle Adamchak, Artsy Lady 4, Tobster2103, Mr. Barg 7, Bugsy's Wife, Philip J. Merrill 1, and The Bab Fan. 35 new subscribers. Thanks everybody for subscribing. Thanks for helping us get to that uh, 250 mark. Don't forget to leave your comment. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that like button. Win a CD. That's it for this week. So, from the hunting grounds, I'm SK. Have fun.